You can't tell me all the After Effects tutorial videos don't start like this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey. Every week is fashion week for me. What the fuck are you looking at, nigga? She's slow. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for not a tutorial, but I haven't re-downloaded Skyrim. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm back in After Effects, right? And I'm putting in my clips, and I'm hoping this thing doesn't crash on me. That would suck. So I put in my song and my clip, and I have to decide like uh, which portion of the song I want to use. Why is my? Eh. All right, cool. You can see my Kid of Hearts poster in the back and my ramen better. But other than that, um. I need to choose what portion of the song I want to use, so let's just like find out. But that's all good, so let me put this motion tile on. I've been told that it doesn't matter like what I put these at, so I can like, I usually set them to 200 anyway. That's just like my opinion. Oh, there's, there's no, really no reason to, because either way it's going to look like it's supposed to, but... Alright, so that fades in. I want to use that part. I want to use that part. And I want to use that part. And where... Yeah, yeah, this this part right here. Where, where, where it backs up. Oh, I need five. So I'm going to use that, and then the part where it backs up. I'm going to have to do some serious time remapping because I know for sure that it's not going to be, like, enough. So next, we are going to do the the uh, the camera movement. So we're going to hit that wiggle. It's position. So wiggle, comma, 140. And then we are going to do the rotation, which is uh, wiggle, comma, 1, comma, 1. Yep, there we go. 1, comma, 1. I meant not comma, 1, comma, 1. Uh, so here we have our motion tile. You can see it because. All right, let me disable this audio. I'm a goofball. All right, so camera movements there. The motion tile is there because like you can clearly see there's no black when like the camera's moving. Um. Yeah. So now we can just cut the portions of the clip we want. There you go. All right, yeah, it works. So, all right. Um, all right. So, I'm looking at it, and I want to do like black bar animation, also, just like. Because it is a pretty simple edit, I want to add more to it. So these first four are going to have black bars going vertical, and the last one's going to have it going horizontal. I hope I said that right. Air conditioner is like blasting, so forgive me. Because it's hot. Um, let me move this motion tile under this twixter. And... Yeah, so... Right, this definitely doesn't flow as much as I want it to. In terms of, in terms of transition-wise, I'm seeing like a lot of zoom-outs. So I feel like that one would be a zoom-in. This one would be a zoom-out. That would be a zoom-in, and that would be a zoom-out. All right, so we have a pattern here. 175 is appropriate. Place that there. Perfect. Then the zoom in for this, so it can be anywhere from 175 to 150. I'm gonna make it in that range. So we're gonna see how it looks at 175 first. 175 might be too much, it might have to be 150. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, cool. Alright, cool. So now, we hit every single one of these with an easy ease. That's my F9. And now, time to hit that graph editor. This is the last one we need to do. It's pretty simple. We just have to click here, and it's coming in. And that's going here. Yes. Here's the whole thing. <coughs> All right, I still am not a big fan of that ending part because I feel like it's kind of delayed it's coming like a little bit after if you know what I mean so to fix that I think we just move that there I think that's a little bit better so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause this John this John this Joan I'm gonna take oops my B put that over a little bit and drag this out a little bit Let's see. I'm a perfectionist, but not really. But a little bit. Better. Better. <laughs> cool. So now that we have all that down, I want to add shakes, but the only thing about me adding shakes is that I do not know how to. I'm going to come back to you guys when I have all the shakes done. So bear with me here and I'm going to do them. All right, I'm back. The shakes are kind of intense. So like I'll show you what I have and I also didn't uh, put the motion blur on because I like to do that after just to, like to see like the end result and then I do any tweaking I see because I like putting the motion blur. It like builds up like, I don't know what it's called, but it builds up like happiness I guess inside of me I don't know what you, like if you see it but like <clears> the <throat> shakes are kind of too intense for this like maybe some parts it's fine like there it's like too intense I feel like it's moving the screen around too much yeah especially that last part so what I'm gonna do is do a lot less shake in this so if I edit gonna edit this position really quick um here maybe I'll like oh wait I can't change that that's the original but here, maybe I'll do like a little bit less of like a shake. Like that's where like it impact the most. Yeah, see. Yes. <laughs> All right. So where I'm at right now, I'm kind of adding effects. <clears throat> to the project and it's really hard to know like what effects I want to use so far I have like a little like like a little whoosh, a whoosh coming out like of uh, Kakashi and Sakura at the end and where just Kakashi's part is so you'll see it in a second and motion blur still isn't on this junk is smooth ow yeah, you saw a little, little pop. Ah, I'm sorry. There it goes again. My twists are too nice. That's actually kind of cool. Let me pause this. Oh, I have a second monitor, by the way, which is what I'm watching. So, I'm going to get back to you when I have a list of effects that I want to use for one, two, three, four. Each of these five clips. So, I guess I'll find five effects. And I'll be back with you guys. Uh, I guess not. So we can get rid of this one for now. We're probably going to need that again. But we set this one to 15. Alright, cool. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Set the middle keyframe to 15. Alright. Add a motion tile. Okay. 
add a motion tile to this, All right? And I think it's gonna have you drag that down. See, it's a learning process. You gotta learn before you can do, right? I, this is like, I never like add any effects. Everything's always so bland. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired. So that's gonna drop. That's gonna do that. <laughs> I'm excited. Cool. Bam, bam, bam. All right, cool. All right, I might not even like add this garbo to the ending of it. Yeah, I don't even need to add that garbo because your boy's learning new things out here. All right, I'm gonna go get four more. All right, so this one is called the shockwave effect, and I'm gonna shockwave the heck out of this and. I need to get the shockwave clip, uh, which is downloading right now as we speak, and now it's being dragged into After Effects, but it cannot be without me clicking the project button to drag it in. So now I gotta click this hacker right here, and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm a, I'm a, uh, it's, it's doing the thing. All right, importing selected, and I'm gonna uh, really quickly. Really quickly, I'm going to view the video on how to do this, and then I'm going to do it. So, I'll be right back. Alright, what's up, y'all? Um, rendering it out, and consider turning down video settings or use faster encoding preset. Uh, it's probably because it's using my CPU to... Alright, here we go. This is what I have. Looping. All right, right there. I want to do something with Soccer's eyes because she looks pretty surprised there, and that's like a lot of space to work with. So I'm probably gonna mask it out, right? And then I'm gonna put like an overlay or something in them. Um, here, I'm gonna go find the overlay, and then I'm going to work on it and show you guys. is going on what's going on it's actually the next day and I added effects to this without telling you guys you're welcome but the only thing is the only thing is that I like the way that these two just kinda have it But the thing about that is, I also kind of want for it to, I want for it to ease into those transitions or, all right, I'm starting to think I like it just like normal. And this is what I have so far. So you friendly people can view. That's what I got so far. It's render time, but um, my media encoder is open right now. But um, so yeah, that's been the edit, and I'm gonna do more of these because I like edits. Me more like this, where I go through my process of what I'm doing. It's six half an hour ago it's edit time to edit this and upload double upload maybe this one yeah double upload all right stay tuned